Good morning. All right, what's up, everybody? That intro was pretty cool. But today, as you saw, we're going to talk about that Apple intelligence. And so first, and full disclosure, the Apple intelligence will only work on iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max users and iPad models with the M1 or higher series. Same with Max. Anything with an M series chip, it will work fine. You cannot access Apple intelligence on older devices because actually Apple wants to kind of make it an on device processing kind of thing. And so they don't want anything shooting up into the cloud. They want everything to be very quick and fluid. And so that leads us to obviously the features and see Apple, the reason why they're doing this whole, it only works on M series chips and 15 pro and pro max users is because Apple doesn't make as much money as they used to because of the European Union has forced them to open up the app store to third party developers. And they've also forced them to not take 20% of the cut from what developers make off of apps. So that's one of the big reasons why we're seeing stuff like this. And so let's talk about it. Privacy is a huge aspect of Apple. And so with Apple intelligence, it's actually one of the first artificial intelligence to be out there that has full privacy. And this means that they can't sell your information. They can't, they can't access your information. Basically it's very private. So super cool. We also have new writing tools built in to all apps such as iMessage, you have pages, Keynote, Mail, and it can edit or it can also be a little Grammarly tool and kind of write for you. And so see, let's just say you're sending a postcard to a friend and you want it to sound nice and sweet, then you can make it sound just like that. And or say, you know, I'm sending a letter to someone who's about to get fired, but I don't really know how to write it. Well, Apple intelligence will screw it up and tighten it up for you so that it can be stern and sound correcting and can sound rude. So yes, Apple intelligence can now basically make a turn your writing into something that it should be. And so that leads us to summarize. So if you select text currently on Galaxy AI, it will summarize it for you in either a paragraph or a bullet list or charts. Apple intelligence can do the exact same thing and it will even play it back to you just like Galaxy AI. And so with Apple intelligence, we can now select text and we can either listen to it, put it in a bullet list or have it written out for us in a paragraph or whatever we prefer even in charts. So yeah, super cool. And these features are also going to be available in your notes app, your pages app, or, you know, some features will be available in iMessage, but see, that's where, that's where what I call Genmoji comes in. And so Genmoji is basically where you can create your own image and your own emoji basically. And so you generate your emoji. So let's just say you want to see a frog on skis well it will take a frog and it will kind of make it into an emoji so animated or cartoonish and it will put it on skis so that is super cool genmoji is actually one of the biggest features that i am excited about because i can't wait to see what other people come up with for this so yeah and so now we have what i call priority notification center and so what priority notifications are is they will basically pop up on the top of your notification center and so whenever say you get an important text message that says we're going to dinner tonight is the keyword at six o'clock it's going to shoot that message all the way to the top and it will also do the same thing for the mail app let's just say you are ha or you have a dinner reservation and you want everyone to know right away well so apple intelligence will actually put it up at the top for a priority mailbox and so priority mailbox will also set your messages at the top say you have flights and you need to grab the tickets on the email 
Well, the flight tickets will show up at the top on the day that they're needed. We also have summarization emails where now it will say someone sent a really long paragraph for an RSVP. It will now summarize that paragraph and say, Julia sent a RSVP for us to go to the movies tonight. Would you like to accept? And so it will basically put that out in small text right under her name. So let's just say her name is Julia Fisher or something like that. Well, it will put Julia Fisher right in big text because that's who the sender is. And then in the small text, it would just say, instead of a preview of the paragraph of the email, it will actually give you a full, intelligent, easy to read, short, three sentence wording. So super cool. I love to see it. Um, so now we also have notes for the iPhone. And so yes, you can record on your notes app and it will summarize it basically like how I said before in charts, text, bullet points, or in a paragraph. So super cool. We also have what they called image playground. And so basically what this is, it's just like kind of Genmoji or what Samsung just released with animated pictures. Um, or I think it's called Animoji is what Samsung called it. Anyway, let me know down in the comments down below. And also, if you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe because we are on our way to 500 subscribers and I love doing YouTube and I love talking about tech. That's what I'm passionate about. And so, yeah, if you guys want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. So, yeah, photo playground or image playground, I guess is what you can call it. And so basically what this will do is it will... Mm, let's just say it can create its own like you can create your own kind of images and so you can say like my um, you can say a dog walking down the street and he has uh, balloons on his collar or a family member uh, helping another family member out at a dinner and you can send it to people or you can save it and then you can create more with Genmoji so that's super cool and also with the photos app we can now get rid of objects move objects around or just tighten things up and of course ai will do it for you i'm literally just going to say that because apple calls it apple intelligence so yes it will do it for you and so now we can get rid of stuff and tighten it all up and so yeah super cool and now we can also type to sear Siri, I can't really say her name because she'll actually do something in my background. So yes, now you can type to your virtual assistant. Um, and so say you're in a quiet room, you can type to her, she'll do it real quick. And so yeah. And then now we also have Siri is more helpful when it comes to knowing what is on your device. And so basically Siri has the ability to look on your screen for you and kind of pull things for you. And so you could say, um, I would like to go pick up my grandmother from the airport, but wait, I have to go do something else real quick. Well, Siri will basically make that a little bit easier and say she can also move things around and she can send stuff to other people like invites say like our meeting is getting moved back 30 minutes because Josh is late. Yeah. So it can, it can now tighten things up and it can help you in your daily lives, such as asking it to do simple things like tell her to um, go outside whenever I get home or something like that. And it can tell her to go outside when your location changes to go to being on the way to home, stuff like that. So super cool. So basically it's a lot of automation. And so that leads us to our last stuff. And so, Breaking news, Apple intelligence will now work for third party users and developers. So I'm talking, it will now work on third party apps. It will work on third party operating systems such as uh, chat GPT or it will work for, I guess you could say. You can now hook it up to your open AI account. In the future, you will be able to hook it up to other third party sources so like gemini or bard or sorry not bard even though that bard was a great name for gemini anyway so yeah gemini and we got 
I mean, we got so many other artificial intelligence that it can hook up to third party. And guess what? It's all free. And so these 30, these third party um, hookups are actually going to come later this year. Chat GPT should come out at the launch of iOS 18 or Sequoia. So I love to see it. I really love to see it. Um, and so that's kind of your Apple intelligence wrapped up. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and hit the bell icon and subscribe because I'm honestly on a little posting streak lately and I've been really enjoying creating videos for everyone to view, but not just for everyone to view, for y'all to view and to enjoy and stuff like that. And so if you guys like this, be sure to subscribe. And also let me know what you guys wanna see next. I think our next video will actually be about the Nothing CMF Phone 1 uh, because the CMF Phone 1 is different from everything else. So that wraps it up. Go check me out on Instagram, link down below or at the end of this video. And you know what? If you guys feel like it, click one of these videos that's suggested to you up here or here. Uh, we're gonna have a video suggestion at the end of each video and stuff like that. And so click that, check out another video. We just did a video about the Apple Watch X. So go check that out right up here. And you know what? I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. So yeah, peace out.